All right, Sean Sattel, FightHype.com here with the WBA lightweight world champion, Rolando Roli Romero. Roly, man, back in the lab. When are we gonna see you in the ring again, you think? Well, I say hopefully May, May, June, something like that, you know? Um, not, not, there's no for sure date, and we're working on a few opponents right now, you know? I, I wanna get a former world champion, or, or you know, obviously another belt holder or something, but that's not gonna happen, so hopefully a former world champion. Yeah, do you have any names in particular of guys that were former world champions in the division? I mean, there, there's a lot of them in, on the list right now. There, I mean, there, there's Linares, there's Fortuna, there's, there's, there's Comey, there's, there's a lot of people, you know? So, I mean... Oh, you and Richard Comey? Yeah. That'd be a damn war, wouldn't it? Or... Yeah, man. Comey a good fighter, man, but uh, he a little, his chin a little suspect. <laughs> And you don't feel yours is. You're, you're a guy who can take a punch as big as you throw it. Yeah. He can crack, I'll tell you that. He can crack. But like I said, I'm going to land something way before he lands something on me. What would you think of that fight he had with Mourinho? It's obviously the fighter that you got the title off of. What did you think of Comey, how he looked against Mourinho? And how Mourinho's looked, too. Well, Mourinho's fought Comey differently than he fought me. Mourinho is a... He, you know, he, he decided not to engage with me at all. He, he was terrified of me. With Comey, he went in there trying to bang it out with Comey, try to fight him at his own game, and look what happened, you know? With me, Marina's ran like a little bitch. And, uh, he, he, he's, he's a pussy, as simple as that. <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm, I'm very disappointed with that dude, man. Uh, we offer him a rematch. We, we offered him more money than he made with Comey and uh, oh, really? wow. and a belt. And he didn't want he didn't want to take the fight. He wanted to go fight Comey because he doesn't fear Comey. He fears me. So I mean, we, we can see that from the fight and how how he decided to fight. Do you think that's a, you think you guys ever will fight again? Probably not. It's a waste of my time. There's a lot of bigger things that I can go for. Another world, a former world champ, or another world champ, or you know. I, and with, with uh, Marinas, he nobody, so it doesn't, it wouldn't do anything for my career at this point. I want my belt, I'm happy. Well, people would say, you know, it, it helped you put an end to any, any, anything anybody ever had to say about that fight. Um, but, no, yeah. it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, like I said, I, was, I won the fight. I won the fight. I landed him, I hurt him multiple times, so I mean, that's that. But being in the gym now, I, uh, obviously always training with Coach Bullet, and today you're in the gym with Jorge Capatillo working on some things. What do you feel you're getting better at right now? Um, I'm just working a lot of different things, you know. I'm just working a at lot once. of different things, you know. Um, I won't say nothing is specific, you know, but like I said, I'm, I'm trying to go back to a lot of my, my, my old habits, things I would do a lot when I was an amateur, you know, and uh, the stuff that brought me to where I'm at today, you know, uh, I'll be honest with you, boxing got way too easy for me, it got way too easy for me, and it just... It, and it's good that, you know, like I said, I'm going back to my old stuff, you know. Um, I, I was watching back some old tapes of mine, you know, when, when I was an amateur and when I was, uh, you know, all my, all my sparring wars, when I, when, when I was fighting, sparring all these world champions and stuff, you know, and I was like, I just simply outboxed all of them, you know. So, you know, I'm going to just get better at what, I will perfect the style I created for myself long ago. You know that you know the different styles of fighters. There's the boxer puncher, the counter puncher, the, the pressure fighter. What identity do you feel like you're forming as, as, as right now? What, what do you think is your identity as a fighter? I mean, I've always been an aggressive counter puncher. I've always been an aggressive counter puncher. Um, I mean, but I, like I said, I look back to a lot of my amateur fights to follow the pure ball the boxer. Obviously, I box a lot, you know. Like I said, you know, I mean, you put on them little gloves and then you start cracking one after another and after another and then you get, then, you know, you grow up, you get a little bit of man strength and then you just start, man, any punch you land, you know, you, you like my sparring sessions, they last like one, two rounds, you know, and it's like, okay, so I just got to land one. I, Is that what they call falling in love with your power? <laughs> I didn't fall in love with my power, yeah. I can't really say that. But um, I, I can say that. Because they know. says that you know that can slow down you using everything you can do, like yeah. wilder, you know. Yeah. But uh, 
like I said, I'm just going back to law mode happens. Like I said, if you, if you would have seen me, you know, like I said, back before I turned pro, back when I was amateur, even my early pro, you know, when I was early as a pro, I was fucking, I was boxing these people, I was cracking them, and then like I said, I just thought it got too easy. I ain't gonna lie, boxing got just way too easy for me. It was literally just walk it, boom, done. And, 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 and go to the gym, spar, I don't like that dude, boom, be done. You know, so it's like, I, I just got too strong too fast, that's all it was. Right. You know, looking forward to, to the rest of the division, we got uh, Devin Haney, he's, he's, him and Lomachenko are going back and forth. Who do you think will win that fight, Roman? Him, him and Lomachenko? Yeah. Are going they're, well, they're going back and forth on Twitter. Lomachenko says, let's fight in late April, early May, let's make it happen. You know, what do you think, if, if they were to fight Devin and Loma, who would win that fight? Loma? Why do you think that? Uh, I, I think I think uh, well, I mean, like I said, uh, Devin doesn't have the power that, like I said, that Teofimo has to like um, make Lomachenko respect him, you know. And um, honestly, that's just a fight I just really don't want to see. As a fan, or, or I just, just or? like I, I have a friend, that fight is just gonna put everybody to sleep. <laughs> Not to put everybody to sleep, you know. But um, I got, I got, I, I got Loma on that. Okay. Did any anything you want to address about you know the uh, couple months over the last two months or so there was those clips uh, Devin posted and you came back with with a lot of humor and, and anything you want to say about that? Role? I'm gonna just say it like this: you got you got a 15 second highlight video and you getting days in your own highlight video and landing, bro. You a joke. Simple as that. You a joke. How do you how how do you get hit in your own highlight video? But like I said that's that De Devin knows better. Devin knows better than the fuck with me. I think people would love to see that fight at some point though. Do you think it happens? Oh hopefully down the line, like I said. But Devin's gonna do everything he can to avoid me and that fight may not happen for years, you know? What what if it came your way? Are you are you down to do it if, if Of course. Okay. Of course. Y'all I have been taught uh, when I say I'm gonna do something, I do it. I want another belt. I, I want I want another belt. I mean who doesn't want to win that WBC belt? Who does, who I mean shit. When you think of a boxing a box a belt in boxing you always think about the WBC, you know? Of course. That's the first belt that comes to your head, that green belt. So Although they've been moving, you know, I love the WBC, but they gotta they gotta, you know, chill a little bit. They gotta slow down a little bit. Just a little. They gotta slow down a little bit. Yeah. But uh, they gotta slow down a little bit, you know. I mean. But there's still that that belt. There's still that belt. Absolutely. That's the that's that's the belt, you know. That, that's the belt I want, you know. I got WBA, so now WBC, WBO, uh, and IBF. I think Gilbert Tio is gonna fight Combosis, you know. And like hopefully, you know, like I said. I mean, obviously I would want to fight Tio, he has all the belts, you know? You would want to fight Tio? Yeah, of course. I mean, he he have all the belts, you know? I'm just surprised to hear that because I know you guys are, are friends. Yeah, Legit no, friends. But yeah, he's in a, today's he, boxing, friends don't ever seem to want to fight each other. But Tio, Tio's, a, Tio's a great fighter, you know? Like I said, I think the fans would love that fight regardless down the line, you know? Maybe 2022, late 2022, you know? 100 mil each. Hundred million. From, from what you know from sparring him, would that be a war? I think it's gonna be a boxing match. It'll be a boxing match. It'd be a good. It'll be a really good boxing match. You're supposed to lie and just say it's gonna be a war anyway. No, 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 no. It'd be a very technical boxing match. It'd be very high it'd be, speed. It'd be because uh, all the times me and Teal sparred, you know, it was we sit there and time each other. And you know, like I said, I'm a puncher, and you know, he's obviously a, he's a he's a good puncher. He's a really good puncher, you know. And it'd be it'd be a really good boxing match. I, I think it'd be a really good boxing match. Do you think more fighters should kind of go about 
uh, friendship and potentially fighting each other the way you just did and instead of well, I don't want to fight him because he's my friend do you feel that's that's bullshit when it comes but, down to it but the thing about the friends thing is like yeah there's friends but I want my legacy I want to be the greatest fighter ever you know and if I don't ever have to fight Tio well then I never have to fight Tio you know I'm not I have I'm not in no rush nor in no interest to fight Tio you know other than the fact that he has all the belts if he didn't have all the belts then I would have no interest you know um, and there's a lot of other big names I can go after, you know? And, I mean, I make weight fairly easy right now. Like, really easy. I'm about to pound under my last fight, but, you know, eventually I'd be wanting to go to 140, 147. Those would be a lot of, there's a lot of good fights at 40 and 47. Like, I mean, you don't think Roley versus Josh Taylor, Roley versus Ramirez, Roley versus Kurt Greyer is, you know, those will all be really good fights. Who do you think will win that Ramirez Taylor fight? I think, I think Ramirez uh, might get him, you know? I think Ramirez might get him. That'd be a good fight, though, you know? Um, but I know that those fights ain't gonna happen for, for me anyways, because I know Regis, I know Pergrarius, uh, I mean, I know Pergrarius, uh, Taylor, and, and uh, Ramirez. Ramirez, they're all gonna move up. Unless for whatever reason, Teal wants to fight one of them at one point and they unify over there, you know? Right. But other than that, they're they're all gonna move up, you know. And basically, lightweight's just gonna go to 140. There's gonna be a lot, of, like I said, there's gonna be a lot of these fights at 140. And then, you know, eventually all the fights will go to 147. So I mean, even if it's not 135, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna fight all these people at 140, 147, you know. Mm -hmm. And. I mean, that's the weight class I want to be at. I want to be at 147. I mean, I already have a welterweight frame. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a big 35 pound. I'm a big boy, you know, so I, I eat a lot, you know. You don't think height, height, height's not a problem moving up? Porter shorter than me. Thurman shorter than me. Pacquiao shorter than me. There you go. Me and Florida are the same. The best fighter of all time is my height. We're both the same height. I don't think it's going to be a problem, you know.